Hi guys, how's it? Kia ora to my Fono and Aotearoa. G'day to my Aussie followers and howdy, howdy, howdy and hoik mora from Texas. It is morning time here. Um, my birthday, man. I thought I'd sleep in a bit later, but uh, man, like when you get used to waking up early in the morning, you still wake up even on your days off. But uh, woke up this morning, of course, like I had said, it seems like Thursday mornings is the days that we always seem to get the opposite team playing the spring box lineup getting released and yep woke up this morning and it was released michael chica has uh made a couple of changes but uh we're going to start off with a report of the weather durban kings park there i think it's called hollywood bets kings park sponsorship reasons uh, it's gonna be high at 24 and uh, mostly sunny so no moisture i think it's a five percent chance of rain so it should be a very clear pitch very clear grounds. 10.05 a.m. local start here in the U.S. Um, I, Like I said, I will not be going live for this one because I'm going to be on the road this week. weekend. But I will get a chance to watch it and do a post-game video, of course, because I have to, because that's my team. But uh, Michael Chica has made four total changes to the starting the 23-man roster for this weekend. The final round of the rugby championship. Um, I don't want to go and make a claim because then I get proved wrong, but I've been told by various people, we just win and we get the bonus point. We wrap the tournament up. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. You can leave it in the comments. But let's go ahead and start out with the Argentina, the visiting Los Pumas de Argentina. Um, no changes to the front row. Uh, Chaparro Tetas, uh, Julian Mont Mont Montoya, the captain, and uh, Bello are the front row, so no changes there. We get... Uh, Alamano and Lavanini going to be the regular locking combo for them. Gonzalez, Kramer, and Pablo Matera at the number eight spot. Uh, Bergenau and Carreras will be the nine and ten, respectively. Uh, one change to the winger at left wing one. Imhoff will be getting the start. Uh, his opposite will be uh, the deadly boot of Emiliano Bofelli. Uh, De La Fuente will be the starting center, and another change, Moroni comes from the bench and will be starting at the other center position. Um, same starting fullback, a Juan Cruz Malia this week. Uh, veteran 37-year-old Augustine Crevy will be the front row replacement. Uh, Vivas will be a new change. There's another change from the lineup. And Sclavi. Petty will be another forward replacement. Pedro Ribolo? I'm probably butchering that name. We'll be making debut when he comes off the bench early, probably in the second half. Uh, Thomas Cobelli, another veteran on the side. Or Erdu Paleta and Batista Delway. Delway? Delway? Would be Mexican Spanish, would be Delway. I might be getting it wrong because it is Argentinian Spanish. So that is the 23 man roster for Los Pumas. Let's go ahead and bust in six total changes to the Springbok squad that took away that um, smashed them early in the first half and almost gave away the game in the second half. Uh, pretty interesting uh, choices at a couple of these positions and we'll kind of go through that as we go through. Uh, no no change to the front row. Uh, Kitsoff marks the man of the match last weekend and Melhorba make up that front row. Uh, Eben Etzebeth and Lude Hogger, the, uh, you know, pretty much gold standard as far as our locking combos as of right now. Captain Sio Khaleesi and making his return, Peter Steph de Toy will be the flankers uh, with Jasper Visa uh, as the number eight spot. Uh, Hendrickson gets another start at uh, scrum half with 35-year young Franz Stein making the star at fly half at first 5 eighth. Uh, last time he... Started at that position was like, I think it was like 2008. I was looking at that roster, man. <laughs> Brian Habana, yeah, it was nice. Uh, Mapipi and uh, Kanan Moody will be doing the wing duties. Obviously, Moody having his debut, scoring on debut. Uh, Damien Dialende and Jesse Carroll will be our centers, and veteran Willie LaRue will hold it down in the back end. A couple of changes. We got the bomb squad coming back. We've got Mongi Manambi, Enche, uh, Ox Enche, and Vincent Koch making his return to the pitch. Uh, Franco Mustard, Dwayne Vermullen, and Quagga Smith will round out the forward replacements. Uh, going to a 6 2 split again. Uh, Fof de Klerk and Kurtley Arenza returning after a red card uh, on debut for Kurtley Arenza. He also scored a try on his debut, or was that his second game? Either way. He's been suspended for a bit. He's finally able to come back into the fold. So, yeah, I mean, obviously the big one is going to be Franz Stein, and I did a video about it. Is the guy going to be able to do the whole 80 minutes? 
Uh, also kind of gone online, done a little bit of research, like who else can play fly half for the team. And uh, I've had a couple of people say, hey, Foff the Clerk's done it a bit. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure you could probably have Willie. I don't know if Willie LaRue could do it, but definitely they said that Foff the Clerk could definitely play fly half a bit. Um, but I'm hoping that Franz can, can make it the full 80 and kind of prove the doubters wrong uh, when it comes to age. But uh, like I said, hopefully getting a victory and a bonus point so we can go ahead and close up this tournament and end it uh, in proper fashion uh, before we take a little break before the end of the year International Northern Hemisphere Tour. Um, I also, uh, yeah, so, oh, uh, came out. Uh, Darcy Swain, six-game suspension after the absolutely nasty hit on Waikato Chief and All Black Quintupaya. Uh, last weekend, yeah, that was pretty nasty. Uh, the videos all over the internet, you could see it. Yeah, it was obvious. He knew exactly what he, he was targeting that gentleman's knee. Uh, ACL, MCL, he's out for the year, uh, unfortunately, for Quinn Tupai. And that is a position that the All Blacks have definitely been lacking on. Uh, checked out their lineup a little bit earlier. Looks like they have moved Jordy Barrett into center with Rico Iwani. Uh, that's going to be an interesting little combo there for the All Blacks. But, um yeah, I mean, it should be a great game. Like I said, I'm going to try and follow along as I can. Uh, if I'm out and about, I probably won't be able to sit. But if I am if I get a chance to sit down with my notepad, I will go through and watch the game and do a post-game video for you guys on Saturday. If I don't, I will do it Sunday night when I get back home and uh, get ready for the work week. But, yes, it is my birthday today, guys. I know I keep kind of bringing it up, whatever. But, yes, my birthday today. So I am going to probably cook myself some breakfast here, maybe make some cinnamon rolls or something for myself, or maybe I might go get something to eat and bring it back here to the house. But um, I hope everyone having a great Thursday, they'll have a great Friday, and I'm hoping Saturday becomes a great Saturday with a Springbok victory. Uh, until then, I will talk to you guys very soon. Cheers, guys.